Hello and welcome. I'd like to introduce you or reintroduce you to my model car junkyard. It's a 124 and 125 scale junkyard. And I need to interrupt myself in this video at this time and say I apologize for any noises you might hear, like my squeaking floor and my stupid OtterBox case on my Galaxy phone. It's got that rubber boot on it, you know, that rubber protective cover. I think it's quite loud when I'm going to move my fingers like that. So I apologize for that in advance. But this is my model car junkyard that I'm building. i got the uh, fence there with some weeds. And I've got to work on my barbed wire. i got some. But yeah, it's a work in progress. This is my fun hobby. Some cars, most of the cars are plastic kits. But then I got, I do have some um, die cast metal ones like those. But it's mostly, like I said, plastic. This is my fun hobby. And that being said, um, I'm going to be selling some cars on eBay. Like right now, I got a race car that's not being shown here because I got it set away since it's officially for sale on eBay already on a different auction. Um, I got that put away. But, um, you know, I, I don't need, I know some junkyards have race cars. Like, I'm going to keep my Lancia there in the shop there. That's a good race car to keep. But, you know, exotic, high expensive race cars. Yeah, I don't want my junkyard. just doesn't look too real in here, so I'm selling that one. But now I'm officially selling some of my, my wrecks, my junk cars. And today, up for auction. And none of these cars you're seeing here are up for auction. Um, it's only this one right here. It's what I believe to be a Buick Riviera. I'm going by the shape of the trunk line there. It's not stamped anything on the bottom. I'm not sure which brand it is, um, but I made it a rusty, trusty special. I got the uh, you know, part there missing from rust. Is the illusion I was going for. I got some pinholes, which I don't know if the camera's gonna show up there. And uh, got that side there too, dented in and rusty looking, the door as well. And this is coming with exactly what it came with when I got this, when I bought this car. It's missing wheels, missing dashboard wheels and tires, but that's the beauty of having a junkyard car. It doesn't have to have all the parts. The body is not attached. I mean, you see it's moving. So if somebody wanted to take it apart and put a dashboard in there, or, you know, and it's missing door panels too. So if you want to take it apart and add door panels, it's missing the driver's side door panel as well. It's got all the seats in there. And, uh... You know, for a car that, you know, I made it rusty front end damage is what I was going for here. And I'm thinking, I was thinking, I haven't had time to do this and I second guessed it. But I was going to, nobody in their right mind would have a car this old and this rusty in their junkyard for long with the motor still in it. They would harvest the parts off that by hoisting the motor out. But these nice hoses here, you know, that makes it look so good. And I'm not bragging on myself because this is how the car was when I bought it. I mean, up with the hoses. I, mean, I rust, did the rust and the dent look you know the faux dents um by heating it up and smushing it in but anyways um what i was gonna do is i was gonna have an engine hoist in front of here and this motor out and hanging by the chain on the hoist but then i was like hey, i don't want to do the the hoses you know i'd like to leave them like that because they look nice so that's what i was gonna have in my yard but now that i'm selling it i just want to point out that yeah nobody in the right mind would have a car i mean maybe but i i just chances are they'd, they'd have that motor yanked so, I mean, what somebody could do if you still want to have the show of the hoses, you know, any particular, any specific buyer who buys this could just take the hoses. If you wanted to do the hoist, you take the hoses and move them, you know, off the side, you know, so you can at least still see them coming to the core support. Um, still gives some detail while the engine's hanging. It's got the master cylinder there. But please, you know, use the video as a reference to, you know, a part of my description because... I'm going to list as many parts as, you know, I can that are all, I mean, it's missing the hood, it's missing the, the front bumper, the radiator core support is there, but it's missing the front, you know, the radiator itself. Um, hence the reason you can see the, the cooling fan. <laughs> but, uh, I'll stop talking for a second, just show around the car. Oh, and I do want to say one thing though. Sorry about the noise coming from A, from my OtterBox case. You know, 
it's on my phone, and B, my squeaky floor every now and then, depending on where I'm standing. I got a crease right here that I don't know if the camera will pick up. Creased from the heating of the plastic. I'll flip it over so you can see the undercarriage. Also, yeah, if you were going to yank the motor and have it hanging by a chain, I'd recommend taking off the muffler. And some people pull engines and transmissions together. It's usually how they do it at the scrapyard, so I wouldn't say you have to cut the transmission in half so from the motor block. Try to leave it as is and just hoist the whole thing. Let's see, is there anything else I need to show this back angle? This is the back bumper, this is all the tires and wheels. This is the junkyard special. And I was going to sell just the race cars like right now. I got this one on eBay on another auction. Um, I was going to sell just the race cars because the race cars just, I mean, I know some junkyards, a lot of junkyards have some race cars. Like, I'm going to keep my Lancia, you know, back there. But so, some, you know, junkyards and scrapyards do have race cars, but, you know, that one's too nice <laughs> for the junkyard I got. I wanted my junkyard to, to look junky, you know. Um, like, a junkyard owner doesn't really care about order or organization. Because, <laughs> I don't know, to me, it just looks, looks more artistic that way for a hobby. But I'm showing you the rest of the cars. But right now, this is the only one on this particular auction that I'm selling. So I'm only showing these cars to show off what you know your junkyard could look like if you have one already or if you want to start one. This could be your first start to having a new new junkyard or an add-on to your existing one. I'm not sure what year it is. I'm not exactly too sure if it is a Riviera or not, but it sure looks like one to me. But please note that I don't have an accurate description on that. So please allow yourself to do the research and if you don't have the knowledge already i took a google image search of it after i thought it was a riviera and the google image search came up same saying riviera so that's why i feel safe to say it is but it could be something different so just please note that anyways thanks for watching